Welcome back to Ed Hunt. Today, back at the booth here. And yeah, it's a bit cold today. A bit, uh, it's been really rainy all week, so it's a bit uh, wet on the ground. Here today with Ben. And uh, we're a bit late, uh, but we thought we wanted to come when it was daylight today. So it's uh, 6.22. So yeah, let's get on the hunt and see what we can find. Vinyl. Black Ops. Oh yeah, they've got one and two. How much in the games, mate? Uh, five weeks. Five weeks. Thought that like burnt me then. <laughs> Try and give money back somewhere. Else. No, no. No, that's fair enough. I'm not. I'm not looking at it. I'm just. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Bumped into many people this morning, but one of many. One up retro gaming. What's up, bro? How's it going, guys? You alright? Yeah, man. How you been? Yeah, good man. Good. Found anything so far? Uh, just some cards, Magic Attack cards, nothing, nothing really. Yeah, a bit bleak, isn't it? To next week. Yeah, man. Oh, tell me about it, man. Bring on the gaming market. How much are these? Resident Evil 6 there. Mm. PSP. I actually bought that earlier. How much in the games here? A couple of quid. Could be some gems in there. Oh dear! Wicked. You know he's gonna ask for a pan then. <laughs> <laughs> Always good to meet everyone. Rocksmith. You know what? Yeah, I know one of these is worth really good money, but I don't know which one it is. I know, I know it. There is one. worth money, you know. Yeah, alright man, I'm, I'm happy to pay. You yeah, know, no, I've got I've got also a donkey con, but me, me granddaughter was talking about it. <laughs> oh, yeah. that's alright. Right, job. Someone, someone down here was selling two switch controllers. Yeah. Four pounds for the two. Four pounds for two? And we're back. So, just came back from the booth fair, and yeah, today was, yeah, it was okay. It wasn't fantastic. Um, Unfortunately, I didn't get much footage as you saw because the this is the regular boot fair that I go to and it was probably at like 30% capacity in terms of sellers, but in terms of buyers, it was 100%. So when you've got the t when you've got the, the camera out and there's that many people in clusters kind of on each row, it's a bit it's a bit tricky to like get kind of decent footage. So because uh, obviously people are like clustered around like you know one particular like car because they've got the better stuff and you know you don't want to have your co you know your, your camera kind of you know butting people's you know shoulders and stuff like that so i've got a little bit of footage where i could but 
yeah, I'm swimming, there really isn't much. And um, I mean, the stuff I did buy, I didn't really even get on camera either. So, um, but there, there isn't much. I spent about 35 in total, and there is a couple of good pieces in there. So we'll go through that now. And um, yeah, just want to apologize for a lack of footage because it was just, it was tricky. Uh, there was only about seven or eight rows and normally there's 20, 25 rows. So let's go through what I've got. And uh, yeah, it's not too bad. We'll go through it now. So the first thing I picked up was, I picked up a card file. Uh, this is Club Penguin. Now this does actually have some cards in it. Now I don't know if these cards are worth anything. They're probably not. Um, I didn't buy it for the cards. I bought it for the actual folder itself. Uh, it's only two pounds um, and I've got loads of Pokemon cards to put in there. So this is why I've got it to, to store Pokemon cards. But I don't know if you see anything in here that's worth anything. Let me know in the comments because I have absolutely no idea whether Club Penguin cards are worth anything. Probably not, but I'll pick up anything. Then I've got this uh, old Pokemon magazine. Now, I thought this is actually quite cool. Um, it's by Jason R. Rich. And yeah, it's basically been made. It was made in like 99, so it's unofficial. But um, I mean, it's really, really cool. Um, I know it is officially licensed, actually. No, it is officially licensed back there. Didn't realise that. But I mean, this is from like, yeah, the first generation of Pokemon. So I thought that was really cool. And um, I saw Ben actually picked up a um, picked up a Prima guide for one of the... Um, mystery dungeon games and he got that for two pounds as well so well i saw this just beneath it so i had to pick that up so yeah that was quite cool so let's go into the games now there isn't many uh i only picked up three i've got three playstation 4 games so the first one is dead fire now this one was three pounds i believe it chops in for four but i'm probably going to sell this at the gaming market so yeah dead fire on the playstation 4 then we've got two copies of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Now these are a pound each, I think they're chopping for 160. Uh, but again, I'm probably gonna sell these at the game market for like three or four pounds each. Um, yeah, I thought that wasn't too bad of a deal, one pound each for Call of Duty games, obviously. Very popular franchise. Um, so we've got one more game, and that is Super Bomberman R on the Switch. Now this one was 15, so it wasn't that cheap, it is in there. Obviously, it's not in the greatest condition, the box, but I looked up and see it's good for 22. This is going to get added to the collection because I do love my Bomberman games, and um, yeah, it looks like a, quite a good um, entry. I think this was actually a free game for a little while on the Switch, but obviously, to have it physically is always better. So, yeah, Super Bomberman R on the Switch. And this is one thing that I got just before we left. Now, I didn't think it was going to work, but it does. And that is a Switch Joy-Con. Uh, right, now let's see if I can find my Switch. So, I've got my Nintendo Switch. Now, this is the right Joy-Con. So let's take the right one off and put this one on. Now it's currently off the Switch. Fully working. No drift, nothing. All good so that was 10 pounds I thought that was a fantastic deal because Joy-Cons if you if you are a switch collector if you're a switch owner you know how much individual Joy-Cons can cost so so happy with that for 10 pounds that was a great deal so I ended up spending 38 pounds altogether but yeah it was a quiet one this week hopefully with the weather improving over time the, the booth is will get better too and they'll improve in size and they'll improve in quality so if you enjoyed that, hit that like button, consider subscribing. I'll see you in the next one.